don't let anybody bring you down or tell you that you're any less of a of a person or a woman. I think we were just two people in a situation that were making each other extremely unhappy. I guess somewhere I've always felt that you know what. For, you know, let's just no, move on with life. No, but I'm glad people life. are getting to hear this. Yeah. And I'm glad I'm doing this with you because with, I think course. we can be comfortable doing And that. so many people are going to, you know, I think learn so much from this. I would really urge a lot of women out there, I'm not saying that you have to get to whatever, but if you are in that, in that process, if you're in an unhappy marriage and that's what you decide to do, I think you should do it with a lot of dignity, with a lot of self-respect. Don't let anybody bring you down or tell you that you're any less of a, of a person or a woman. You're just... Just make sure that you're a strong, wonderful woman. After you got divorced, was you know there any difference in the way you felt that people treated you? Maybe at work or you know generally people around you at parties generally. I don't think anybody treated me any differently. But I'll be honest, there was a certain sense of how the hell did you pull it off? How did you do it? So I think that's about that was the only thing that I, I yeah. felt, and which is a good feeling. Yeah, which it's was great, I, and I know the minute I. Uh, you know, you could sense that. It just kind of felt uh, felt good. But I'm sure there could be like, um, it could have a like, you know, and people could react differently, differently as absolutely. well, you know, to any normal working woman like in an office and things like that, normal going girls. I think we, I would much rather see my child in a happy environment than be subjected to an environment that is completely disruptive. Exactly. And I think with time, I think my child is far more, you know, uh, accepting and far more, uh, you know, just like they keep killing Raya B because yeah. and I there's think, nothing more than a happy mother. And no, and he can see that we both as individuals yeah. are far happier than we were, what we were in in a, in the marriage. And he's earlier. flourishing more. Absolutely. And, you know, and any child, I think, would flourish more when and they he, see. He their did actually happy. turn around one day. And he he did uh, say that to me. He says, "Mom, it's good to see you happy and smiling." You know. So, Malaika, what's your opinion about couples remaining friends after divorce? That's a tricky one yeah, because exactly. I think some manage to strike that balance. Some Never. I think it's more when you have a child involved. I yeah. think it's always essential to continue having some sort of a cordial relationship. There'll always uh, be that bond. I, there'll always be that bond. So I think more when, there's a, <laughs> when there are children involved, then you kind of still kind of uh, maintain that. But, but if you've are, done it, I think, in beautifully. In fact, uh, maintained such am amazing relationships with the family and I know it personally. And I think that comes from a certain sense of upbringing from where Absolutely. since I have, you know, where I have grown up and I think my, my mother's always instilled that in me that, you know, you should, you can't just, you know, you can't just snip ties off or you can't just, uh, uh, you know, suddenly behave aloof and I tell that to my kid as well. So, yes, I wouldn't say uh, that uh, Baz and me are best of friends or something like that but I think uh, we are cordial. We have a very... Uh, a healthy relationship and yeah. it's and of course our child is our most important uh, uh, factor yeah. in our in our so life. So having children does help. Of course it and it's important it's essential to have that because I think then it's just it just gets ugly unnecessarily. Now my next question obviously is how difficult is it Malaika to find you know love again or to date again after a long marriage? Because I think every woman would feel a little intimidated yeah. about jumping back into that dating yeah. pool again. But having said that, it's not impossible. And I think every woman should jump back into it with equal, you know, gusto. But, yeah, and uh, confidence. Absolutely. Yeah. I think you just need a little time to, to kind of, you know, back away from everything, get a perspective of, of what's in store and go on, go out there, date again. Get onto a, Tinder, get onto whatever, keep, get onto all the apps. Keep going at it. Swipe any <laughs> left, right, whatever it may be. Have fun, enjoy yeah. it. I think for the first time in your life, you'll also kind of discover a sense of freedom. Yeah. I, so and meeting I, new people is. I don't. I think even for the first time to actually to uh, to be in a bed all alone, you know, is also a very is also a new thing, you know. Well, of course. I think it's quite it's quite refreshing not yeah. to have somebody, uh, you know, share your bre your bed or your your, your space, space, you know. So enjoy that. That is like the biggest uh, uh, disparity that there is amongst the many other disparities that you have to deal with men and women. But uh, men really don't have that. And I'm not somebody to to uh, sit and uh, you know bash men. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Course, I have a lot that. of respect for the men in my life. I have a lot of respect for for a lot of men around. I know, and you have a son also. I have a son, and I keep. I mean, so I'm not going to sit down over here and and do this you know man bashing over here. But yes, it's very easy for a man to move on with his life. Well, it's never ever easy. Like no other major decision in your life, and uh, uh, at the end of the day, um, someone has to be blamed. You always have to point fingers at yeah. somebody. I think that's the general human nature right. to, you know, to go about things. So yes, you'll always blame somebody and uh, it's never easy. But the person that I am, 
the kind of person that I am, I feel you rather, for me, happiness is the most yeah, important. Yeah, of course. And it's not just me. I think it's happiness of everybody <clears throat> around. So even if it means that I have to make or take such a major decision in my life, of course, I didn't do it alone. Yeah. There are two people involved. And uh, I think we eventually did think about a lot of things. We weighed every single Pro and pros, and, pros and, and cons. Yeah. And then we decided that I think it's better off that we move our separate ways because I think we'd just be better people. Because I think yeah. we were just two people in a situation that were making each other extremely unhappy, which was impacting everybody else's life.